But if you want to get out there, get out. One thing with me, the nice part, I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there. I'll kiss everyone in that audience. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and the everybody. I'll just give you a big fat kiss. No, but there is something nice. I don't have to be locked up in my basement, and I wouldn't allow that to happen anyway. I wouldn't allow it to happen. You can't lock yourself in a basement and say, I'm not going to bother with the world. You got to get out, and it's risky. It's risky, but you got to get out. But it does give you a good, uh, a good feeling when you can beat something, and now they say you're immune. I don't know for how long. Some people say for life. Some people say for four months. I mean, every time I think about it, every time I hear them, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter because they want it to be as bad as possible. So that was probably the weirdest moment in an already very odd Donald Trump rally in Sanford, Florida, basically at an international airport outside of Orlando. Trump shouldn't be doing this rally for a whole bunch of reasons. First and foremost, Donald Trump has yet to test negative for COVID, for the coronavirus. Maybe he has, but he has not told us. And it really would be the kind of thing Donald Trump, his doctor, his people would be shouting from the rooftops if true, because it would be a very easy indication that he's no longer contagious. But they haven't told us that. They've given us all sorts of information that seems to indicate he's getting better. And I don't think there's any denying that he's doing better now than he was a week ago. But there's no definitive proof that he is no longer shedding the virus. And he is in close quarters with people. This is not like his Saturday afternoon event, where at the very least you could say he was on a balcony. Here, you know, everyone is relatively close by. And, you know, Donald Trump is a very passionate speaker, like him or hate him, right? And he he exclaims, and that's going to send droplets flying into the crowd. And he is probably close enough that he could still infect some of the people in that crowd. And beyond that, no lessons have been learned about social distancing and masking. One of the arguments some people said is that Donald Trump's events going forward are going to be much stricter in terms of social distancing and safety protocols. But that is a jam-packed event. People are crammed in like sardines. And very few people, not no people, but very few people are wearing masks. You even see Matt Gates and Ron DeSantis. Gates is a pro-Trump Republican congressman, and DeSantis is the governor of Florida, both at the event together with friends and family right in the front row, none of them distance, none of them wearing masks. Showing that whether it's the rank and file attendees or whether it's the Republican elite, no one is doing anything to take care of one another. And again, I have to stress this, Trump yet again makes a claim of immunity. He's like, oh, I'm so immune. I'm so powerful. I'll just go around. I'll kiss all the guys. I'll kiss all the girls. It'll it'll be a fantastic night. But like Trump isn't immune. That's not something that's been conclusively proven. Again, there's been some evidence that you have increased resilience once you've gotten it. And that resilience is stronger more recent to the time you recovered, but that is not immunity. And there are studies showing people have gotten this twice. And again, Donald Trump, even if he is personally quote unquote immune, which he isn't, but even if he was, he has not tested negative. And him going around kissing all the guys and the beautiful women would just serve to infect those people. Like, it, it's absurd, right? Because Donald Trump is, he's basically like, you know, trying to play up this like crazy grandpa role, it seems like, oh, I'm just going to go around kissing everybody, showing everybody how much I love them. But like, there's a seriousness behind his rhetoric here. It's not just Trump trying to play up that, you know, he loves his audience and his audience loves him back. It's Trump trying to suggest that everything is back to normal. 
that you shouldn't hide away in your basement. He's trying to attack Biden, even though Biden's been publicly campaigning for months now. And then he's trying to suggest that, oh, you can go around when you're like me, when you've gotten it, you can start going around kissing everybody, every guy and girl that you love. You can go around and kiss him and hug him because you're immune. Don't worry about it. But these are the exact sort of lessons that are not proven by science and and not touted by health officials like Dr. Fauci and so many others. Yet, because Trump has a lot of people that follow his every word, will follow that example and will do these sorts of things when they're in a similar context to Trump. So again, like everyone's going to be focusing purely on the absurdity of the remark. Why is Donald Trump going around saying he wants to kiss everybody? Why is Donald Trump all of a sudden, is, is, has Donald Trump come out as bi now? Is like, that's going to be the joke. I guarantee it because he wants to kiss all the, the handsome men. Like th- that's going to be the focus. But, but keep in mind that Donald Trump is doing this for comedy to, 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 to sell a, 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 a rhetoric But beneath it are recommendations that will directly cost people their health and their lives. Laugh at it, but remember that it's far more serious than just a couple of jokes.